Tony Mutter, helmsman aboard uh, Law Connect. Uh, you've obviously steered this boat pre the new bowsprit and the new sails. What's the feel like under the new organisation? Um, well, it's uh, way better, firstly. So we're very, very pleased with it. The performance gain has been, uh, it, I won't say huge, but it's, it's significant. So um, I think it gives us a really good chance for any, any, any races against any of the other 100 footers. Yeah. And uh, we were talking to Ty earlier about what it's really doing for you. It's obviously extra sail area, but for you in terms of helming and other things, what's the, what's the difference there? Um, well, the bigger bowsprit, I mean, it's no different to dinghies. Um, the, the bigger bowsprit gives you a bigger, a, a, a greater uh, luff angle, so it creates a little bit more lift um, with every sail that you that you have out on the bow. And on this boat, it, it has um, some peculiarities um, with the balance, and um, this actually rectified it and helped it. So... Essentially, if you did this boat again, I did it again tomorrow. You'd shift the rig about three metres further aft, but um, to make it make it balance. So we, is that right? It's that far off? Yeah, we can't do that, so we just made the <laughs> do it the other way. <laughs> uh, code zero is sort of Volvo seventy start. You would have been in the early days of that, presumably. What what's the transition of those? Because I'm I'm still a little unclear about the code zeros and then where it goes into asymmetrics. They seem to be that border seems to be blending a bit. Am I right? Yeah, well, the Code Zeros, when they first came in uh, in the Volvo, which was in the 96 Volvo, um, they came about, it's to do with the girth measurement in the middle, and basically the bigger the girth, the fuller it is. So if you make it a you know a seventy percent girth, then it can't be flat enough to go upwind. Well, that was the thinking. So and the seventy percent girth is seventy percent of, of foot length, yeah. Yes, yeah, seventy percent of foot length. So you, as you can imagine, it's not a, it doesn't become an equilateral triangle. Basically, it's a, it's got it's got extra cloth there, and to stop that flapping, you have to support it with um, with shape. But you want to go upwind with it, and to make it versatile, so you can use it through various different ranges. So that was the trick that we played in the old days: was to try and make a, a sail with the big girth as flat as you could make it, so that you could use it. Firstly, uh, very light air upwind, but also downwind. But now we're um, it's all pretty good. Um, we've kind of almost done the full circle and revisited part of um, that creating girth by keeping flat and that's with um, the new sails that we have here where they have a structured luff um, so they fly with very little tack load but they project forward and um, that's a yeah, massive performance gain.